in this video i'm going to help you master max qda for thematic analysis in the least time possible to conduct thematic analysis the first thing that we need to do is to have a framework that we need to follow in doing this one of the frameworks that we can follow in conducting thematic analysis is the brown and clark six-step framework however in this video i'll not be going through all the steps of the brown and clark but basically i'll be showing two central elements of conducting thematic analysis which is how do we code the data and how do we generate themes these are the only two things i'll be looking at if we consider the brown and clark six step framework these are the six steps that we are going to follow to conduct thematic analysis to conduct thematic analysis using any tool including max qda or even and vivo the thing that we are going to do is to generate codes and then combine codes based on shared meaning to form themes so in this short video i'm going to show you how to generate codes from data using a sample and then combine codes to form themes the other steps are like steps that we need to refine our themes first we familiarize with the data according to brown and clark then we generate codes then we develop themes by combining codes then we review them we define and name them and we produce a report but for the purposes of this video i just want to show you how to get codes from the data and how we can combine them to form themes let me interrupt this video for a minute and pose this question to you are you overwhelmed by qualitative data analysis i've got you covered with two specialized services tailored just for you but before i tell you of my services let me first begin by informing you that i have an average five star rating from the previous clients that i've worked with both in the done for you and in the consulting service now here are the two services that I provide to help you in analyzing your qualitative data. The first service is the done for you qualitative data analysis service. In this service, I handle the heavy lifting so you can focus on the bigger picture. My service includes meticulous manual coding where I code every word for meaningful insights, theme development where I identify patterns that matter the most, data visualization where I provide stunning visuals to tell your data story, findings report where i provide a ready to use findings report for the fourth chapter of your thesis or dissertation and a walkthrough video recording which is a step-by-step -step explanation of how i analyze your data using max qda the second service i provide is one-on-one -on -one max qda consulting in this service we hop on a video call via microsoft teams or zoom and in just a few hours i help you become a max qda pro whether you are a beginner or looking to refine your qualitative data analysis skills, I'm here to guide you every step of the way. So don't wait, contact me today. My details are in the description and in the pinned comment. So let's open Max QDA. Here we have Max QDA, and I'm going to open a new project and call this project so i just named my project now when we open max qda we see different menus and sections we have the topmost menu we have a secondary menu here and three main panels this is the first panel where we import the data this is where we create the codes and this is where we see what we create now let me go to my transcript this is my transcript that i want to analyze for the purposes of this video I want to give an example of a study on experiences of patients with heart failure. Now, this is a transcript talking about experiences of patients with heart failure, which we are going to analyze. Sometimes it has some mistakes, but we are going to push through all that. This is an example of a transcript from a patient called patient 3. With that in mind, let's go to patient 3 drag and drop a file there we import by dragging or dropping or you can go to import transcripts and you can import whatever you like from max qda that's how we import the transcript the first step when you are conducting thematic analysis is to pick an approach for example in this case i'm using the brown and clark six-step framework the second step is to import the data 
into Max QDA. In Max QDA, don't focus on all these tools. No, just focus on importing the transcript and having codes. And then sometimes we use color codes to manage the codes. Let me show you how we do that. Let's read together here and then we can begin coding. Remember, we code based on our objectives. The objectives are mainly based on the title of the study. For example, the main objective of this study is to highlight the experiences of patients with heart failure. So, how many years have you been diagnosed with this disease? It has been eight years. I had a chest pain initially and was taken to the general hospital. And after that, I was referred to the XXS. Of course, they have removed the name of the hospital too. And underwent two surgeries there. I had two blocks. So first surgery was done from there for the first block and the second surgery was done in medical college after the treatment was continued in hospital. So how many years have you been diagnosed with this disease? If you look at that question, that's one of the questions. Before we even import the data into NVivo, if I go back to my original transcript, we can use color codes to manage the data. For instance, we can mark this question as red and then we can mark the next question as that color, kind of yellow or gold. Then we can mark the third question as another color code. Just for a single transcript, this is not for all transcripts. Let me just use light green. Then we can see the interviewer again here. We can mark this question as having the color dark green or blue. Then you can have another question here and we mark it as another shade of blue. Then we can have another question here and we mark it as another shade of blue or generally purple, okay? Those color codes are making them because we are going to use them to manage our data. Let's go back to Max QD and let's just now start coding. Remember, a code is a label or an interpretive statement to any information that's important to our research question. So we code things that we believe are important. And by coding, we tag these statements with precise or with concise quotes that are interpretive in nature. So we are interpreting the info. So how many years have you been diagnosed with this disease? The first statement from this person, it has been eight years. I can right click, go to with new code, and code this as how many years and just say eight years remember i can voice type but let me type manually here now go back to my original transcript and tell me the color is red i want to mark that code as red all codes coming from the original question should be marked as red i click okay so it's been eight years you see that goes to the code section directly that code is marked as red eight years then I had chest pain initially and was taken to the general hospital. After that, I was referred to that hospital and underwent two surgeries. I had two blocks. So first surgery was done for the first block. And second surgery was done in the medical college. After that, the treatment continued in the hospital. You can see this person is talking about their symptoms, although they have not been asked. So I want to code this and I don't want to mark it with any color for now and call this chest pains. That's a code that came out which the interviewee was not asked, but we always code any information we believe is important. By default, that code has been marked as blue, but don't worry about that. So if you double click the issue that we coded as 80, as you can see the quote, and if you double click on the other, you can see the quote. Let's keep going. If you remember, I marked that question as kind of gold okay are you working now yes i'm working in an infancy store which is owned by my elder brother i can highlight that statement and say this is the color that we use remember this person is actively working i think that's an element of they are still actively working what are the major health difficulties since eight years of the onset of the attack if you look at that question look at my transcript that question has the color green so we are going to code that as green what are the major health difficulties since eight years after the onset of the attack at that time i only had few difficulties and was okay but since last few months i have some breathing difficulties i have difficulties while doing strenuous activities even eating i have cramps in my left shoulder i'm not fine i feel restless 
when I eat since last day. So let's look at this. What are the major health difficulties? But since last few months, I have some breathing difficulties. So we are going to highlight that and then right click with new code. Remember the color for this. If you go back to my transcript, this code, we are going to mark it as green. It's important to mark codes and then just code it as breathing difficulties. I have difficulties while doing strenuous activities or even eating. So they have difficulties performing strenuous activities. So with new code, let's code this. Difficulties performing strenuous activities. Click OK. Now, that code, sorry, should have the same color as the previous one because they come from the same section. So you see these two codes are green or even eating. So here we have to code difficulties when eating experiences difficulties when eating that's another code we mark that as green then i have cramps in my left shoulder so experiences cramps in their left shoulder then there is another statement here where they are saying they feel restless let's do that feels restless basically you can see the number of codes i got from just a single statement you can see one two three four five five of them this experiences cramps we should also mark it as green we have to be careful to use color codes you can see the color codes are for knowing the original section that we got certain codes from so that when we come to forming themes we can always relate certain meaning to certain sections so Let's keep going and just code one more question before we start seeing how we combine these codes to form themes, which are the main issues. And basically, when you have codes and you have themes, you have done thematic analysis in Max QDA. What will you do when these emergency situations come? So how do they handle? And that question is marked as, if you read it well, it's marked as sky blue. Usually, I take rest for some time. After some time, I will be okay. So when they have symptoms, they take a rest with new code normally takes a rest to deal with symptoms and we have to check the color for that so yeah i think that color was kind of blue let me leave it at that now those are some few questions that we've coded and that's how we do coding in max qda to code well you have to one have an approach like the brown and clark which you follow it's like a guide of how you're going to do your coding one by one or in order and two you have to know what you are looking for so we are looking for experiences of patients with heart failure we've developed some initial codes here with the initial codes we can go and form themes sadly for max qda we need to create another project or to duplicate this project so that we have a version we have an initial version with the initial codes and another version with the themes let's do it practically so let me close this let me go to this folder. This is my Max QDA and copy it and paste it. I want to rename the copy uh, themes. Okay. And I want to rename the original to initial codes. Why am I doing this? Because I'm trying to preserve my original version or to show the steps that I'm following in doing the analysis. Let's go to themes and let's open Max QDA. So these are the codes that we just developed. Remember the color codes I had before to know where the codes came from. When I now start exploring the codes to form themes, I have to look for patterns of shared meaning. And these patterns sometimes are inspired by the questions you're asking. For instance, if you look at the red code, it tells how long this person has stayed with heart failure. Let's start with the prominent issues. Let me work on this green code, major health difficulties. So. That one can be, if I go to codes, create a code and say health difficulties associated with heart failure. And now this code memo is the description. I can describe this theme. This is a theme I'm trying to form. This theme represents the different health difficulties that patients with heart failure experience frequently. So, for this one, it's marked as green. Remember, 
I can go to properties, right click go to properties. And by the way, I say this is a theme. Let me show you how we differentiate themes from codes. And because that's a theme, I go click on all codes I had related to experiences of patients with heart failure. I select them. Then I drag and drop them under my theme. Let me just do it one by one. Look at what I'm doing. Okay. You see? So, all these codes, if you read across and if you read them, breathing difficulties, difficulties performing strenuous activities, experiences class in the left shoulder, feels restless, and experiences difficulties when eating, they are all codes with a shared pattern of meaning, which we have seen is health difficulties associated with heart failure. And remember, we also have a memo for that. So, we have written a description of what this theme means. Basically, these are the basics of using Max QDA to conduct thematic analysis. And this is how we move from codes or from raw transcripts all the way to getting themes. When we get themes, that's when we can go to reports, export, just to show you an example. Go to Word document and click on save. Click on yes. And then look at that code system also called a code book when we use softwares like Max or Envivo. But this is a Max QDA video. Look at that. This is a theme, the description, and all the codes below it. We can come and do the same for the other themes, for the other issues, or the other topics that we were handling. But basically, this is just a short video. I'm trying to make it as short as possible, where I show how we do coding and how we combine codes to form themes in Max QDA. And therefore, this is how we do thematic analysis. Now, I will link other videos where I go in depth. I analyze two transcripts. I get numerous themes and even other videos where I show how we report findings after all this. Remember, if you are feeling stuck with your data analysis chapter, don't stress. I'm here to help. I offer done for you qualitative data analysis using Max QDA, and my done for you service includes coding, theme development, and visualization. On the other hand, if you prefer to learn and do the analysis yourself, I provide one on one Max QDA consulting where I'll guide you step by step to master Max QDA in performing qualitative data analysis. Reach out to me right now, check the description for my email and link to my website. Thank you.